Hey everybody! Welcome back. Northern Lion, Binding of Isaac. Does it always have to be Eve, Blue Baby, or Samson? I guess there's only like two other characters. There are three other characters that it could actually be. Kane, Judas, uh, and Maggie. I would prefer... Ooh, that's a pretty good start though. That makes me feel a little bit less salty about this whole random run as Eve thing. I really, really dislike Eve. I, I try, I try to like it. I try to like uh, what she's putting down, but I don't always uh, end up finding myself enjoying it. Dead Bird, let's face it, pretty much garbage. If Dead Bird is your best item, you already lost. Sorry to break it to you. Ten bombs is kind of sweet. I guess we'll be able to use those uh, maybe on the next floor to find the secret room and maybe kill a boss faster so we can increase our chances of getting a deal with the devil by lowering the time we fight, thus lowering the chances that we get hit. But, in the meantime, Let's see who we're facing first. Regular Monstro. Regular Monstro is, you know, not the easiest boss that we're going to fight up to this point in the game. But, well, I guess he is both the easiest and the hardest boss that we're going to fight at this point in the game. Um, but he is a boss where we could quite realistically take him out without uh, taking damage and without using any of our own bombs. It's going to be a little bit of a longer fight than I'm used to. Because our base damage is, uh, you know, absolutely god-awful. That being said, as long as we just kind of rinse and repeat our... Uh, same overall strategy here, we should be pretty much totally fine. We're already about halfway through the fight. Just join me on a lark of conversation until we uh, end up finishing Monstro off and move on to the sweet, soulful sounds of Mr. John Tesh. I just wanted to see what it would be like to be a radio announcer for a while. Everybody always says, Northern Line, you'd have a great, you have a great voice and face sometimes of also for radio, so you should consider it. Nobody listens to the radio. Everyone's got their MP3 players, their iPods anymore, man. I could be a... I would love to be a podcaster, but that's pretty much like what I'm already doing. I love doing what I'm doing above all else. Oh, that's sweet that we got this and uh, the also the Eternal Heart back here. But yeah, um, I, uh, I would love to be a podcaster. That'd be cool, but I like doing what I'm doing as well. In any case, that was a weirdly random tangent, but hey, that's what happens when you end up having these super slow monstro fights. Luckily, the tears up from uh, meat will probably end up helping us out a little bit. In the meantime, uh, we have enough bombs for sure to open up that tinted rock. Should also give us access to all oh, that key, so important too. Should also give us access to that treasure chest. And there's spirit hearts out the wazoo. And a little bit of money as well. Well worth the single bomb that we put down there. And hey, here's our uh, moment of truth. Ten bombs remaining. Almost got tagged there. Uh, let's fight our boss. Hopefully it's an easy one. Ah, Larry Jr. Very, very simple. Let's put this one down like right here. Oh, that felt pretty good. And uh, honestly, with Larry Jr. in this totally like wide open arena, I don't think we need to use any more bombs. It would be a good thing, you know, save ourselves a little bit of heartache if we actually did end up taking damage, but I don't think it's necessary. One's already dead, we'll just kill the other one uh, from afar, and I think we've got a very good chance of getting a deal with the devil here. Did uh, restart the EXE from Spider Mod, I think, so could have some uh, normal interactions here as opposed to the weird, uh, interesting ones we can sometimes. Never mind, I guess I didn't restart the Spider Mod. My mistake. Hey, pretty good trinket, uh, though. And a uh, fairly decent card as well. For now, at least. What do we have in here? The Miter. Beautiful. This is lovely. Um, let's let's take our pill. See what it is. That doesn't hurt me that badly. Alright, this is pretty solid so far. The Miter is a beautiful item. Angel Room Precedent is like... I, I like it, but I prefer it when I have a reroll, because like... The odds of you getting Sacred Heart are so low already, but, you know, oh, Golden Keys, that's amazing, but, um, that being said, I think the Secret Room just has, like, such a low, or sorry, the Angel Room has such a lower percentage of giving you a totally shitty item as well, like, now that I don't reroll Scapular very often, and I don't reroll Celtic Cross, there's almost nothing you can get in there that you want to reroll, except the Bible, basically, which you do want to reroll, if you can, um... Looks like we're going to be leaving this floor with just the poop from the item room. At least we didn't end up wasting a key to do it. That feels a little bit better. Um, there could be a curse room available where we could find something of value. I would love to get rid of the poop on the very first floor here. But apart from that, I, uh, I'm probably done with this floor. And you know what? First two floors is Eve. Nothing wrong with it. I can be totally happy with the situation that we find ourselves in here. Well, not totally happy, but content. Content's the word I'm looking for there. Uh, probably push that bomb a little too far, but I'm not going to look for the secret room just because it's a low percentage uh, chance to find it if it even exists. 
and there's not a half price item anyway and the item that's on sale for full price isn't particularly solid so no big deal we didn't waste a key we had a golden key so might as well check it out and uh, it'll be time for us to head down to the uh, next floor then nothing of value on there okay well we can obviously open this up right away Dead Sea Scrolls is probably better. This might be one of the few times, it's like a, seeing a unicorn or something like that, that you'll actually be able to see me use Dead Sea Scrolls in the wild. So there's enemies, we Dead Sea Scrolls, there it's talking about seeing a unicorn. All right, now the timer on uh, Dead Sea Scrolls is tied to the uh, item that it gave you the benefit of. So we'll have like a four room charge on, um... oh, come on. That was well done, Pestilence. We'll have like a four room charge here, I think, on um, Dead Sea Scrolls. I don't think it's a two roomer. That would just be crazy. I know I'm using a lot of bombs here. I think it's worth it if we can get this deal with the Angel, which we did. Not, we might have gotten it without the bombs, but I like finishing that off as soon as possible. And hey, now we have Relic and Miter. That's uh, lovely. So our Spirit Heart situation should be totally sorted for us. Now all we need is a good offensive item. And Bob's your uncle. We find, yourself, we find ourselves in a very winnable, very winnable position. Didn't think that uh, Nub would explode when I was so close to his face. Yeah, funny. Ha ha. Very clever. Northern Lion's talking about getting a cream pie all over his crust. His eggshell. Hey, that was a pretty sweet Necronomicon, actually. Dead Sea Scrolls can sometimes give us Kamikaze as well, so, you know, we gotta keep an eye open for that and not hit the button twice, at least, I guess, but, uh... It's okay. As of right now, it's given us, uh, some... decent benefit. We'll check it out. We'll lose the Spirit Heart in the process, but it's worth it to possibly get a chance at some, uh, good attributes. Friends to the End is worthless. Range Down is worse than worth worthless. We could have used Hanged Man to save half a Spirit Heart, but I can't help but feel that maybe there will be a better item for this uh, at some point in the future. Or a better use for this Hanged Man item later on in the future. Oh. Okie dokie. Not happy with my damage, but it is Catacombs. I just gotta play a little safer. Gotta remember that my damage is not amazing, so just be cool. Probably could have avoided wasting a key now that I look at the layout of this floor. Nope. Now, Secret Room. If you have more than 8 cents, or 8 cents or more, I would be... Uh, very thankful. Well, you don't. I still think with the amount of keys that we have, it's worth at least checking the uh, shop. It's been a very, like, by the numbers kind of run. You know, just going down the flow chart, ticking the boxes where we may. No, no half price items. I'm not going to buy a key. I'd rather save our money and use it later. A little bit of a frustrating floor, but hey, we got the relic, which, I mean, might not be worth one full floor's worth of item rooms, but it's pretty solid, let's be honest. <clears throat> Catacombs 2 with the Curse of Darkness this time. We don't have map or compass, so it's not that big of a problem. I am admittedly taking way more damage than I'm comfortable with. Uh, but we have Relic and Miter, so we have a little bit of a... A uh, little bit of a tolerance for that. To use like a... I guess an engineering -y type word. Uh, we'll check out our shop. I assumed it was the shop, and it was. And I'm happy it's greed. I guess we can get him out of the way. It's kamikaze, so we're not going to use that more than once. And it doesn't change. It'll change on the next the next time we use it, or at least it has a chance to change. Um, but even though it's fully charged, it would just give us kamikaze again, because that's how kamikaze works. It has no cooldown. At least I assume that the chance to be something else resets when you leave a room. Otherwise, once you got kamikaze, you would be stuck with it for the remainder of the time that you had dead sea scrolls, which seems absolutely god-awful. All right, plenty of money. Book of Shadows, beautiful. Starting to appreciate Dead Sea Scrolls maybe a little bit more than I'm usually apt to do. Maybe it's only uh, because it's giving us half decent stuff, though. So two of clubs. We'll, uh, oh, oh. I can't believe I dodged that. Um, we'll use two of clubs before the next time we use a bomb. I got very, very lucky on this room. Two of clubs is one of those things where if I saved it longer, I'd probably able to be able to get way more benefit out of it, but, um, you know, five extra bombs, it's pretty solid for just a card on the ground. Who knows, maybe we'll get uh, Mr. Mega in here, and then we'll get, all of a sudden, we have, uh, you know, 18 uh, Mega Bombs, or 18 Poison Bombs, or who knows. You should be dead. Thank you. Our damage is actually okay as a result of meat. Could be a lot better, but it's okay. Oh, all stats up. That feels so good. Okie dokie. So, speed, damage, tears. Uh, Magic Mush might not be all stats up. 
I know only one of the all stats ups actually is in reality an all stats up, but um, it might be Magic Mush. I certainly feel faster. Might lower our range or something though. Hard to tell because we've already had a range down. All right, so this was our starting room. So that was uh, by far the best item room we have had on this run. Still like four shotting these guys, five shotting them, I think. So takes a little while. That's okay though. Spirit Heart's coming back after I lost so many. Deck of cards will pay out with another bicycle card. That's what I like to see. Can't really tell what it is just yet. Unfortunately, we've very much hampered our movement here. Okay, just move. Two shots. Two shots is enough to kill. Okay, we can finagle ourselves out of this situation pretty easily here. Okay, this guy's probably going to be a three-shotter. If I had to guess. Oh, just a two-shotter. Okay. So how do we end up using that Stars card? Well, we use two of clubs before we leave the floor, then we take the Stars card with us. I can't say Stars without thinking of SARS. You know, that sudden acute respiratory syndrome. We had an outbreak, uh, you know, worldwide, but also in, in Canada. I mean, that's, I guess, implied. Hey, that was excellent. Uh, implied in the whole worldwide thing, but uh, it's weird how pervasive that is. Maybe I was just at the right age at the time. All right, two of clubs. Uh, pop this down. Get the key. Fight the boss. Be ready. Didn't think that would find a secret room, but you got to give it a try. Ah, okay. Easy boss, but better safe than sorry. That was pretty good. Now we've got uh, 200,000 silkworms to deal with. It's fine. Let's take care of these before we break open the uh, other half of this guy. And I would say that was a pretty good bomb. And I think our chances of getting a deal with the angel are quite high again. And we're running out of deal with the angel items. Like we still have like seven maybe. But I feel like we're starting to run out of them at the very least. So maybe Sacred Heart has a slightly higher chance to fall. Nope. Eight ball. Not even worth picking up, because we're going to keep the, the Stars card with us. It was a chance it could be good, but I really don't care about the shot speed upgrade enough to pick it up right now. In a weird way, when Isaac gives you a shitty item, the only way you can exercise control is to not pick it up. You know, even though it might be slightly deleterious to you, it's good for your morale to say, you know what, Isaac, I don't need to take your handouts, man. I can do this my own way. Yeah. Okay, I felt alright about that. Book of Shadows? Okay. Uh, you know... It's a pretty easy wave for us to kill anyway, but sure, Book of Shadows. Maybe slightly lowered my chances of taking damage on this room. And we got two Spirit Hearts for a key. I mean, we need our key, but the Spirit Hearts help out a lot as well. Maybe we'll get another consumable when we finish here. Can't discount that from the overall uh, value proposition. I was really hoping to kill you before you could shoot. And there we go. Oh, Live Bomb, but a third Spirit Heart. Okay. All right, so we get the stars card and move along. I don't think we're missing anything. I don't think we're missing anything. I already went to the curse room. It's hard to keep that stuff, uh, you know, straight in your noggin when you uh, have a curse of darkness, but that's okay. Stars card, we will probably try to save, if possible, for uh, teleporting out of the mom fight and going to the item room simultaneously, thus saving a key. But if I have to use it on this floor, I'll use it on this floor. Basically, if, if I am going to be leaving a floor without going to the item room, I think it's more beneficial for us to get the item room uh, than it is to worry about this like deal with the devil synergy that may or may not end up applying anyway it's got a very like fringe chance of working in the first place it's gonna hurt wow the the force with which these guys shoot out their their bodies is just absurd that's damage but it's not red heart damage so everything's okay good and you still have that neutral fly which is bullshit but that's okay I forgot that we have the curved horn such a good uh, trinket for us which we're going to lose, probably, but it's okay. So we're going to save our key for now for the shop. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's use it. Necronomicon. Hey, that, that helped me out a great deal on this room. Very nice. Two of spades doubles our keys, which we don't really want to use it right now. It's kind of an icky situation. All right, so don't make the same mistake you made last time where you said... This is going to be your third level cube of meat. This is only a second level cube of meat. Don't get your hopes up too much. Ah, thank you for blowing up the Tinted Rock for me. Two more Spirit Hearts. Now, I've got the speed necessary to dodge you. No question about that. The only question is how these bombs end up working out and knock back. Whether I want to put my own bombs in here, I probably don't because your mobility is pretty good. 
All right, stop doing this. You're not famine, okay? You're war. Act like it. Shoot some bullets. That's gonna make it harder for me to hit you. Or that's gonna make it easier for you to hit me. All right, so we got the speed necessary by far to make this happen. Again, I feel like we've earned a deal with the angel on this fight. I would accept a deal with the devil. We have the HP. I'm happy to be getting a second level cube of meat. We're building quite a solid uh, blue baby or uh, Eve run here. Could be better, but certainly could be worse as well. All right, well, you know what? Let's use uh, let's use our key here. Sure. I still think Dead Sea Scrolls is probably better. Uh, and then we'll two of spades. So now we have two keys. I mean, it's not the best deal we've ever done. Whatever, though. Uh, it does allow us to go to the shop and save our stars card for opening the item room on the next floor. Which I think is somewhat valuable. And it may not matter. It may matter, but it may not. Now, compass. Don't really care about the nun's habit as much in this situation. Just because Dead Sea Scrolls is such a, uh, such a crapshoot. That money is probably not going to be important, but... Hey, it's nice to show up regardless. Oh, well, it might be important to uh, play this judgment. What do we got here? Compass, beautiful. Uh, I don't know if we know what the pill does. Uh, it was worth picking up, in my opinion, and uh, we'll take this as well. Might make it hard for us to buy something on the next floor, but somehow I doubt it. So, let's play this judgment. Getting the compass feels pretty good. There's another mini boss on this floor. Hopefully it is uh, Gluttony. Give me the steam sale, which we can't do anything about, so I'll just be happy with. We paid three cents to maybe save seven on the next floor. So it's gluttony, indeed. I would still love to get more damage on this run, but, you know, we're we're doing fine. We've got spirit arts coming out of the ass, which is going to help us a lot. Monstro's Tooth um, didn't even hit one of these guys, which is crazy to me. We have range ups, so we can stand on the other side of the map and hopefully prevent ourselves from being boxed in just by hurting them. And they're going to break open pretty soon. And good. 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 More keys. Well, if the stars card saves us a key, it's still valuable, even if we didn't need the key to be saved, but that's okay. Um, just give me one second here. Okay. Now, we're going to come up here. None of these are uh, explosive turrets, so we can't really blow up that treasure chest. Or blow up access to that treasure chest. Oh, we can, but the game can't do it for us. So we'll put it down like that. This probably won't help, but we'll try at least. No. Uh, sure, we got an extra key out of it, and uh, we got our bomb back. Feels pretty good. We can open this golden chest now. I would actually recommend it. I'm a little bit uh, conservative with golden chests most of the time. Usually. Depends on the run, but... Um, in this situation, I think even the most conservative golden chest user would, uh, probably be okay with this. We found our secret room as well. And, wow! Okay, so we didn't really need the steam sale, but still, it's nice to, nice to know somebody's got your back. This is a terrible situation. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not surprised that I took damage there. I'm happy we got out with just, uh, one heart down, though. Well, not now yet, but, you know, much less likely to take damage at this point. Dead Sea Scrolls is ready for the boss trap room, or mob trap room. I wish it was a boss trap room. And we'll see what we get. Ah, penny and a bomb. Quarter for your call and all of, all your mama's love. What do you mean you never heard of the Wilkinsons? The Canadian country royalty. They're up there with the Rankin family. And Susan the glue card. Alright, like four people got those. Susan the glue card. Not Susan the glue card. That's like, uh... You know, a, a place where you race 50cc, use the blue shell, etc, etc. You're going to get killed. There's no question about that. You're going to get killed. Might as well just didn't embrace it. Polaroid doesn't benefit us as much as the curved horn does. And, oh, we have way more rooms than I thought here. Which is great, because we can get our uh, Dead Sea Scrolls charged up a little faster. Man, I would love to see Blue Candle on the next floor. I doubt this will find the second secret room, but... Okay. I think it's worth a bomb and a key to do this as well. And you know what? We get the benefit of finding a second secret room chance here. Nope, but hey, worth a shot. Mom's Pearl. At what point will our spirit art chances be high enough, right? I think Curved Horn for the extra damage is very useful. Damage is probably what I'm most sorely lacking in right now, so... I'm okay with this. Not worrying at all about, uh... 
about our defensive capabilities, although I would love to be able to fly. It's more of our offensive capabilities that give me a little bit of pause. Once we lose this, uh, this curved horn to take the Polaroid, it's going to be a lot harder to kill enemies, unfortunately. Golden Chest ended up not being worth its weight, but whatever. Depths 2. Thank God it is the Depths 2, actually. Um, sure, let's go shop first. It's going to be right here. And I'm feeling pretty good. There's, the, there's a lot of things I would take from a shop here. But this run does run the risk of being one of those runs where you get really good defensive items, not very good offensive items, and then just kind of fall away into the abyss over time. You know, you get whittled down, and then eventually you lose. Nuns have it. We'll take it. We'll buy the key. Might even buy the spirit heart. You never know if that might come back to help us. So, we'll get a lot more plays on our uh, Dead Sea Scrolls now. For better or for worse, that's, you know, more Necronomicons, but also more Kamikazes. Is this the right way to go to get to the boss room? It appears to be. Ah, Book of Shadows is like, if you want to keep showing up ad infinitum, by all means, join me. That probably wouldn't have even found the second secret room, but bomb for a key is still a great trade. Too much knockback. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. I deserve to get hit there. I deserve to get hit there, too. The knockback is kind of crazy. All right. Well, Dead Sea Scrolls is ready. I guess there's no reason not to go to our boss room right away because we can uh, teleport out to the item room, which is the whole reason we brought this stars card along to begin with. This room has nothing. This room has something, but I'm not going to use uh, Book of Revel or Dead Sea Scrolls. Because instead, I can use it on this room, and hopefully it's not Kamikaze. Bob's rotten head. Okay. There we go. We did it. <laughs> it's actually not that bad, but it's not that good either. The poison damage lasts forever, though. That's uh, Maybe it's more solid than I give it credit for. We're already more than halfway through the fight, and it's Blue Mom, which is the most difficult. Also, the best of all the tracks on Eiffel 65's uh, breakout album, Europop. Okay. It's okay. Just don't change direction, Mr. Conga Liner, and life will be fantastic here. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Done. Okay. Squeezy. Great item. Plays into our spirit hard love. We have to take Polaroid. Just in case, it'll give us a chance to get used to things as well. Monstro's Tooth or Dead Sea Scrolls? Honestly, I feel like Dead Sea Scrolls has been more useful for us. And we could leave this floor, but there's a mini boss. We might as well explore everything. It's a little lazy to just leave because we've been to the shop and the item room. Uh, you know, the, the boss trap room is probably not going to end up being useful. But it could be if we end up getting a temperance card or something like that. How did I miss that? Probably because I wasn't paying attention, as is, um, you know, something that happens from time to time. Nothing there. Uh, mini boss is what I'm most interested in. It's possible we could bomb our way into the moss mob trap room. Moss trap room? It's more like, it's like a greenhouse. Or a green room. It could be a green chair. It could be many things, I guess. Careful. Oh. Mr. Green in the green room with the greenhouse. That's me playing the worst game of Clue of all time. So the Fool card still sucks, but... Hey, that's what I'm looking for, a Blood Bank. That's the whole reason we came down here. Well, one of the optional possible permutations that made me come down here. It's just Wrath. Look, I'm not thrilled about that. As you can probably guess. Getting teleport out of um, Dead Sea Scrolls almost makes me want to have Monstro's Tooth, to be honest with you. But I'm just going to rely on that not actually being an issue. I'm going to bank on that not being an issue. Reliability is a whole different can of worms, isn't it? Um, let's come down here. We, we're going to obviously go fight Wrath again. How could we not? And in fighting Wrath, my hope is that we end up uh, picking up maybe like a Mr. Boom. I would prefer that to Dead Sea Scrolls. I know you, you might have thought I misspoke. Does he mean Mr. Mega? Well, obviously I would prefer Mr. Mega, but if we're being, you know, conservative, if I get Mr. Boom, I would take that over Dead Sea Scrolls. I think we could use that more effectively than we use Dead Sea Scrolls, cause, just because knowing's half the battle. And look at that shit. There's Mr. Boom right there. Now I feel pretty good. Slightly better than Dead Sea Scrolls, probably. We'll be able to use it all the time. 
And we're obviously hoping for... Well, we were obviously hoping for the HP upgrade here, but... In a weird way, this might actually be better. Because we can now... If it had paid out with the HP upgrade, we wouldn't have been able to go to the boss trap room. Maybe the boss trap room has something fantastic in it. Um, thereby, uh, getting this... Uh, IV bag has actually allowed me to access like a tier's end HP upgrade or something instead of an HP plus speed upgrade. Who knows? The money is, you know, secondary or tertiary at this point, but... You're dead? We don't know what that pill does, I think. And, well, we're about to find out. We got three of them. This could be amazing or terrible. Ah, thank you, Mr. Boom. I even put down another bomb just to speed this whole process along a little bit. Oh, we'll be a little careful here. Oh, that was close. I expected him to turn in the other direction. So, double monstro? Is that next or is it peep? It's peep. I'm trying to use my bombs a little bit more effectively here. We can afford to be a little bit more aggressive with our bombs because we have Mr. Boom, which means, you know, we're, we're going to have a lot less need to, to drain our bomb resources because Mr. Boom is going to handle the bulk of our bombing needs, which is not very much outside of fighting bosses and mini-bosses. Oh, that was bad, but it worked. It didn't work. I got lucky. Okay, you're dead. How many freaking pills do we have here? Okay, gold pill. Tears up. Very good. White pill. Full health. That's amazing. Yellow pill. Not worth anything. Uh, so we have two white pills. We'll just take one of them with us. We could use IV bag and like min max the shit out of it, but it's, it's kind of a waste of our time, I think. If IV if IV bag could occasionally pay out with like a trinket or an item or a, another pill or something like that, then I would use it more often like that. But as is, IV bag is just kind of shitty, in my opinion. Well, turns out I definitely should have used Mr. Boom that first time I got hit. I thought, oh, there's no way I'm gonna get hit tw uh, twice. And then I proceeded to get hit three times. Mind you, we're so overloaded with spirit hearts right now that this is... Even that awful damage that I took there is pretty much irrelevant for now. But we're done with uh, the depths. Good? Yeah, good. We're, we're having an okay run. There's problems, obviously, with our situation right now. The main problem is that we're just not dealing nearly enough damage. To succeed long term. The good news is we don't need too much to make this work long term. We need... A lot of tiers upgrades, some damage upgrades, a small rock would go a long way, you know, there's, oh, what the heck? We did it, oh, I'm totally getting brimstone, sorry everybody. I've got to go, alright, I gotta go get brimstone. I guess our plan worked. <laughs> and we got a nice little interesting situation here, Utero XL. Little, um, we're still not doing that much damage by the way, that's the thing with brimstone is that you know, it, it does, it helps. It helps with your killing, but your your individual damage, you know, you still gotta find some way to supplement it. So it's certainly not an instant win yet. But I'm psyched because we have a, an XL floor. We know roughly where to go. It might take us a while to get there. It looks a little roundabout. Um, but we have an arcade and a boss trap room and a full health pill. We're in one of the very weird situations where um, normally I wouldn't give the time of day to a uh, an arcade at this point in the game, just because it's so much more likely to hurt us than help us. But really, we live and die with our spirit hearts. Our three red hearts are basically meaningless. So we can afford to gamble pretty aggressively on this blood bank. Because we have this full health pill, and if we waste the full health pill, it kind of doesn't even matter. It really comes down to our spirit hearts on this run. That's my that's the way I see it at least. There will be people who disagree with that probably and say no, just you know, kiss principle, keep it stupid. Keep it simple, stupid, sorry. Um, let's try Mr. Boom right here to help us out. Hey, lucky me. Well, less lucky now that I see what's inside of it, but that's okay. All right, so we can play twice. Give us a lot of Mr. Boom charges as well. Let's be honest, we're not here for a, a good time, or we're here for a good time, not a long time, so I don't mind blowing these guys up with the charges we get from Mr. Boom. And we'll pick up... Oh, you know what? We're not going to pick that up quickly. We're going to make our way over to the... Uh, what I assume is going to be the boss trap room. See, we're not even, like, one-shotting the guts. Which is... Not necessarily the end of the world, but... We need more to augment our damage. Which is why I'm hoping we get, you know, like, the pentagram in here. We'll take it. Of course. 
pop that down there. Hey, that did a lot of damage to Loki, actually. And now we can actually, for the first time, see like a pretty good indicator of how little damage our Brimstone actually does. Not enough to even kill Loki on that first shot there. So, look at Monstro 2. Oh, man. It's gonna take like 70 shots. Even our bombs don't do that much. That's alright, we'll very slowly work our way through this. It's not like we have rage or anything that we can actually build from killing enemies, so it was pretty stupid for baiting him into this situation here. It's just gonna make it take twice as long for me to kill him. I'm actually, I'm not regretting our Brimstone decision, I would say. But Brimstone has highlighted to me how weak our position was, um, damage-wise. Again, defensively, we have a crazy powerful run right now. Offensively, we have the ability to hit a lot of enemies, but not ver do very much damage. You know, it's like the happy birthday song. Everybody's heard it, but it's nobody's favorite. Unless you're like, two months old. But then when have you even heard it? You've been, you've heard it like once in your life. Give it a chance to grate on your nerves a little bit. Okay. Bomb for a key is a good trade. I'd prefer not to use the full health pill if we can avoid it. And this is a whole lot of bluster for not really a whole lot of gain right now. Mr. Boom's ready again, but it's not like we can use that for anything beneficial anyway. half heart interval would be nice, but whatever. Alright, well let's try to find our way to the boss fight. That, I swear to god, I was hitting A on my keyboard. And it just, like, didn't register because I had too many keys pressed or something. Because I was holding down the fire button for Brimstone. I don't know, don't you find that sometimes keyboards don't support, like, like, 70 multi-touch at the same time with the same kind of latency? Maybe it's just my shitty, like, $10 keyboard. I like shitty $10 keyboards, though. I, you know, sometimes people are like, you know, why don't you get a mechanical keyboard? You play a lot of video games. First off... I am nowhere near the skill level that, that warrants having a special kind of keyboard to play video games. At anything, let's be honest. Um, secondly, I don't really like the, the Tikataka, you know? I understand that it's got a good, uh, supposedly got a good, uh, like, keyboard feel. You know, you feel like really, I don't know, like you're really hitting something when you press the keys. That's cool, I can understand that. Not really my style. I, I just get down with these $10 fucking, like, Logitech keyboards. Wired, if possible. The same crusty-ass, like, yellow plastic used to be white plastic um, that I used when I was like eight. You actually sprain your fingers typing too much on those. Keys are made out of solid obsidian. Um, we're gonna move up obviously. I'm not gonna gamble too much more on that blood bank. We're just gonna finish this off and you know deal with the devil is basically not quite nil but a very low chance. Hey, tears up. Uh, very low chance. Deal with the Devil or Angel. Not that it, there's many deals with the Angel I'd love right now. Transcendence. Or Fate. Whichever one. You, Holy Grail. There's flying items in there. I'd, I'd love one of those, but even Sacred Heart at this point. I guess it would give me a sweet damage buff for Brimstone, but otherwise wouldn't affect it. But when Rebirth comes out, Dem Synergies, though. They almost did a sweet little sneaky beaky like there. Okay. More keys. Could come in handy at some point. And like a you shall not pass moment with that door. And with our bombs, I feel like um, mom's heart's gonna be easy. The fact that I have to say that is a little worrying, because usually mom's heart's easy. Uh, but I feel like we could run into trouble a little bit with the boss that precedes it. We'll see who it is. And I'm mostly worried about running out of bombs and then having to use these awful brimstone shots exclusively to take down Isaac or Blue Baby. Or both. Um, if we live long enough to get down there. But if we live long enough to get to the chest, we should get some items that help us with the, uh, you know, damage carrying potential here. Nope. No. I, it would really be a load off if I could actually, like, one-shot those uh, vaginal bomb flies. But hey, here we go. We got Mr. Boom ready when we need it. Dub Loki is, like, ideal boss fight. They've got low HP. I've got lowish damage. Uh, and... As long as they're in, like, a horizontal or vertical line, I can hit two of them at once, effectively granting me periodic double damage. Now, why would I dodge into that? Doesn't matter. It's not like we're missing out on a deal with the devil chance here. Oh, one's already dead. That was, believe it or not, a total accident. Alright, so, like, three more shots here. 
Come on, dead bird. If you're gonna be here, actually, like, do something. I'll take it. Shot speed upgrade doesn't affect us. The HP does. Alright, let's do this. Mom, I'm ready. Mr. Boom goes down. I took damage there? Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I'll get to use Mr. Boom more. That's the situation you want to be in. Well, if I take damage, at least I can use Mr. Boom as my offensive ace in the hole. Yeah, that, that really bodes well. But I think, you know, honestly, our HP is so high due to this, like, consistent relic and miter that we're going to be pretty hard-pressed to die. Maybe. Dead bird's helping when it can. Rarely. We have to use bombs here, I think, just to speed the fight along a little bit. Otherwise, it would take 100 years instead of 50. Dead bird, why would you leave? It's just... You know, never leave a job half finished, right? Well, Brimstone's very good against Duke of Flies. We shouldn't have to worry about that synergy at this point in the game, but, you know, every little bit of damage helps. As of right now. Dead Bird's gonna chase around Chubb a little bit. I'm gonna get trapped in here, aren't I? Oh, I thought maybe I could get out. Alright, well, at least it gives me some Mr. Boom use. Spirit Heart's still off the screen. That's an important thing to monitor. Because once that changes, things are going to get real scary real fast. Good. We got two spirit arts back, which is like exactly the same as we lost, I think. Up to the cathedral. We have the compass. Not Curse of Darkness. Good. Let's go left. Left was not the right way, but at least it notified us of that right off the bat. Shouldn't have used Mr. Boom there. Small mistake. Probably won't end up biting me in the ass. And now, you know, this full health pill is starting to look a little bit more meaningful, theoretically. Oh, that was, that was great. Low damage against uh, Gertie Jr. is really a position you don't want to be in. Especially when you're dropping like the worst Mr. Booms of all time. And you can't fly. This is a problematic boss fight. Ooh, well, mini boss fight. Not even a boss fight. That was great damage to finish the room off. Or is it finished? Maybe it's not finished. That was like five spirit hearts down the drain. There's all the spirit arts we got in the caves. Just shit on all at once. Drop this bad boy in there. Didn't hit anybody? Alright, I'm losing it a little. I'm losing the plot. I can feel it. I can feel it like, like crazy. Slow down. You're expecting to kill enemies in one hit, and when you're not, you're getting frustrated. Your dodges are all fucked up. Just be cool. This is like ten spirit arts down the drain to start this floor. That's really bad, but there's recovery. Don't just double down on being an idiot. Oh, okay, be cool, be cool. You're slipping. I'm getting the yips. It happens to the best of us. Let's get some spirit hearts back, man. This is relic and miter territory. Oh, snap. Why? Uh, no! You want to know what happened there? Do you know what happened there? You might know what happened there already. So I, being the smart guy that I am, uh, hit... The space bar to use the Joker card instead of the Q key. And now I'm QQing. The fire shot me. You know what? We can't be trusted anymore. To have that shit. So there you go. We got the pact. It gave us more spirit hearts at the cost of red hearts. It gave us extra tears, a little extra damage, a little extra speed. Uh, and then I got Guppy's Paw. Gave myself even more spirit hearts. At least now we have permanent Polaroid invincibility. So when I get hit, I can run in there. I can do some damage. I can at least not get hit eight times in a row, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's do this. That might have been a, a very smart play. Maybe, like, not clever. Like, sure, it's something that most people probably could have thought of on their own. But, um, it might have been a very, very solid play. So I'm almost waiting until I get hit. Uh, this is just free damage, right? No reason to waste bombs if we don't have to. Um... Just take the free damage here. Whenever I get hit, run up, let Cube of Meat rotate and do as much damage as it can. Uh, Brimstone as well, of course, and, uh, you know, it gives us half of a Mr. Boom charge, which is not totally meaningless, I suppose. Dead Bird can now do consistent damage over time. Might be more trouble than it's worth, but hey. Good. Oh, okay, there's damage. And we'll pop down uh, Mr. Mega there, Mr. Boom. About halfway through the fight. We don't seem to be that overmatched, honestly. You might disagree. But I feel like this is going fine. We can take like eight hits on this fight and we'll be fine as long as we don't fuck up all of the rooms preceding it like we did this time. Alright, dead bird's doing okay. 
This is probably the most impotent brimstone pickup I think I've ever had, but... Well, not ever. I can recall some pretty terrible ones. Good bomb placement. Alright, if I win this one, people are gonna be salty, and I probably deserve that. We got lucky on this Eve run to get so much uh, defensive clout, but our offensive capabilities have suffered, uh, not necessarily as a direct result, but in proportion. If we could just get like one Max's head or something down here, that would be that would mean so much to me. Odd mushroom. Oh, thank you. So, ah, great. When I picked up the chest, it bounced me back into it. That's wonderful. Well, these are not damage upgrades. They're actually damage downgrades, but they allow me to fire more quickly. Razor blade. Um, unfortunately, sorry, not razor blade. Blood rites. Unfortunately, is uh, Necronomicon, not what I would want, which is uh, extra damage via the razor blade. A Book of Belial would be so good, too. Don't, don't teleport. Kind of fed up with the lack of damage. We still have permanent Polaroid invincibility as long as I don't pick up a Red Heart. Which should be fairly feasible to avoid. And man, we really got lucky to generate so many Spirit Arts over the course of this run. Which has allowed me to play absolutely terribly in the time since and still be fine. Relatively speaking. Okay, be cool here. Double Monstro is not a problem until they get out of sync. It's just one Monstro. You're effectively just fighting one Monstro. It's exactly the same until they get out of sync, at which point it becomes very problematic. I wish you could turn Cube of Meat off for a room, because his knockback is almost threatening to kick them out of uh, this alignment with one another. But we're almost done. We're almost done. Why didn't I pick up Ghost Baby? Did I think I was coming back to reroll it later? Well, at this point I can't go back or I'll look like a fucking idiot, won't I? Alright, be cool, be cool. That's bad. That was not cool. That doesn't do damage, I guess, so we can probably stop with that then. Our damage here is not so bad. I guess we have extra damage slightly because of Odd Mushroom. And you know what? Truth be told, it is the right play to pick up Odd Mushroom as long as it doesn't give you a full heart. If you get a full heart somehow, then you fucked up your permanent Polaroid invincibility and that sucks really badly. Um, but uh, if you didn't, then then it's fine. Ideal, even. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I'd rather enter the, uh, the fight with a Mr. Boom Charge fully ready. So we're gonna try to do that. Man, even Famine is taking me like five brimstones to knock down into his uh, headless state. You might say he's not headless, he's bodiless, but I was talking from the perspective of his body. So, who's the asshole now? Okay. As you can see, I'm not really thrilled with the damage that I'm doing to war right now. In uh, 30 to 40 thousand shots, war should be dead and we'll be able to fight our boss. And at this point, I almost feel like we should just tank the shit out of him. And if we tank the shit out of him um, by, like, standing next to him, dropping bombs, using rotations, we're going to have a ton of permanent Polaroid invincibility, obviously. I don't know. Maybe we get... I mean, we're not going to get lucky. I think we're going to win. Oh, nice, nice shot, cube of meat. Thanks a lot. So I, I am going to drop bombs in here. This seems like the right play. Thank you, dead bird. Um... I can't believe that Mr. Boom is our ace in the hole. One Mr. Mega Bomb is what we're relying on to do so well in this boss fight. Well, I got hit, but at least Mr. Boom's getting a charge. That's not the kind of thing you want to be saying unless you're in this situation where you have 32,000 spirit hearts and uh, can afford to take a staggering amount of damage just to charge up something that's as bad as Mr. Boom is. Mr. Boom's not horrible, but... It's, it's very much not what you want to be using in the end game, if you have any choice in the matter, at least. So we're halfway through the fight. We still have Spirit Arts off the screen. Makes me feel pretty good about our overall chances here. I guess I should just, you know, next time we get hit, we're dropping all the bombs in there. I can't believe... I mean, I can believe we're going to win this, but this is some of the lowest damage I've ever won with. It's just our health is staggering. I don't, I don't know how many spirit hearts we have over right now. It might be one, it might be 15. If you told me either of those, I would uh, I would probably believe you. Can't believe we still haven't been hit by these angel fetuses. Some good dodges and some lucky dodges. 
have combined to make me a very happy man. That's okay. Put that down there. Helps us out a little bit. One of those. And there we go. We won. Fuck you, Isaac. We did it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.